Welcome to Transport Vlog. My name is Paul and I'm at Chatswood Station. And over the weekend of the 14th and 15th of January 2023, the new Sydney Metro City and South West Line was connected to the existing Sydney Metro North West Line. But before I show you that, here's a quick recap of the story so far. On the 26th of May 2019, Sydney Metro North West opened between Talawog and Chatswood. And by that time, construction had commenced to extend the line under Sydney Harbour and through the CBD to join up with the Bankstown line at Sydenham. And this involves connecting the existing Sydney Metro North West line, which finishes just south of Chatswood, to the new line. And before that could happen, the northbound Sydney Trains line had to be realigned, so that it wouldn't be in the way of the future Metro tracks. This happened in March 2021. The tunnel approaches were then excavated fully, with the concrete track bed in place by May 2022. And then between June and October, the tracks were laid, along with some of the overhead wire structures. And if you missed out on all of this, be sure to watch the videos in my Chats with Dive site playlist. Link appearing in the top right now, and also in the description below. And before you see the new and the existing tracks connected together, I'm going to briefly cover what happened in the latter part of 2022. This was on the 27th of October, so a couple of weeks after my previous chats with dive site update. This is on a trade towards our Tarman. No change to the work to connect the tracks together, but a little tamping of the ballast has occurred, with some of the new sleepers now visible. This was how the ballast looked on the 11th of October. Now back to the 27th of October, and further down, the remaining track fastenings have finally been added to the southbound line. You can just about make them out here but they are best seen from the Mowbray Road Bridge. Now coming into view is the northbound tunnel portal. And now the southbound one. Now on the Mowbray Road Bridge, this was on the 11th of October, and you can see the gaps in the southbound line rail fastenings. Now about two weeks later on the 27th of October, with all the rail fastenings now in place and not a gap in sight. Now one month later on the 24th of November, and this is on a train towards Chatswood. All the ballast has now been tampered into place, and sleepers added to the gap on the southbound line. The northbound line gap is covered in ballast, so I can't see if the sleepers are in place or not. Now going towards our tarman, and you can see the small gaps in the rails on both lines a little more clearly. And here is another view of the new ballasted track. This is now on the 30th of January, which is the day before a track work weekend, and there is still a gap in the tracks and it doesn't look like anything has changed. And now again in the other direction. This was also on the 13th of January on a train towards Chatswood, but this time focusing on the overhead wires. And cantilevers have now been added to both stanchions here. Notice the gap in the overhead wires over where the new and the existing tracks will join up. Now in the other direction, and you can see the end of the existing overhead wires here, and then the new cantilevers and several vehicles in place for the track work weekend. So a weekend of intense activity followed to join the tracks together and continue work on the overhead wires. So the track work has finished and the trains are running again. Let's see what changed. So this is on a train towards Chatswood on the 17th of January and no obvious changes to the new track on this section. But where it changes to sleepers and ballast, you can see that the new and the existing tracks are now connected together, making it one seamless piece of track. Here is an action replay. The gap that has been filled is between this stanchion and this CCTV post. Now looking in the other direction, and you can see that the existing buffers are still there, along with a fence to signify that what lies beyond is still a construction site and is not quite ready for metro trains yet. And here is a view from the Mowbray Road Bridge of the new and existing tracks, now unified into one piece of permanent way. Now of course, our trains will need some juice, so let's see if the gap in the overhead wires has been filled in as well. This is on a train towards Chatswood. These are the last two of the new stanchions, and here are the new overhead wires going over the newly connected track, and then over the existing buffers to the first overhead wire gantry for the existing line, which also holds the overhead wires for the Sydney trains lines as well. Now going towards our tarman, and the new overhead wires mean that this stanchion is no longer required, as the wires now continue to the first new one. 
and this staunchion adjacent to the southbound line is also no longer required. The ends of the overhead wires used to be connected to these two staunchions, but with the wires now continuing they are no longer required and they might even be the first bits of Sydney Metro infrastructure that have become disused. Now for a quick look at the fencing. In my last update there was a small bit of fencing waiting to be added to the northbound line which is where this points indicator is. This went in on the 24th of November with a special opening for the points indicator. Let's now take a look at the work to cover up this side of the services building along with the tunnel portal in front of it. This was how it looked on the 21st of October. This is from the Mowbray Road Bridge and a concrete floor now covers the horizontal beams that were recently installed to cover this part of the tunnel portal. So those concrete beams and the tunnel portal below will never be seen again. And concrete walls are starting to be built along the north side and the rail corridor side. Now on the 9th of November from a train and you can see this wall going in to cover equipment within the services building. This is the smaller north facing wall over part of the tunnel roof that you saw from the bridge earlier. Notice the hole for pipes or cable conduits. By the 24th of November the completed wall covered this side of the services building with another wall appearing on the right. By the 1st of January the additional wall on the right side of the services building looked finished and it seems that the main services building wall is being extended upwards. And the rail corridor wall is being extended upwards as well and mesh has appeared on parts of the roof. And here is a closer view of this mesh from the train. And a pipe is now in the hole that you saw earlier. By the 17th of January the mesh had been filled with concrete and the next level of the services building wall had been completed. And from the Mowbray Road Bridge the rail corridor wall is getting higher and it looks like something might be happening just here. The east side of the services building looked like this on the 27th of October with the very subtle pink cladding. And on the 29th of November it looked like this. And by the 17th of January it had the familiar insulation panels that are common on other Sydney Metro services buildings. The drainage channel has now been completed and this marks where the old northbound North Shore line used to be. So what's next? Well the Chatswood dive site construction area will continue to evolve with temporary structures removed and the permanent buildings completed. And appearing on the top right now is a video explaining how this area will change including what might happen to this building. I reckon it will take a few months to install the signalling and comms equipment to allow testing to start but I'm sure the occasional metro train will sneak its way through the tunnel quite soon and make an appearance within Trains Facility South. But until then the Mowbray Road Bridge will continue to be a wonderful place to watch the T1 North Shore Line in action. So with the tracks now connected and the overhead wires in place a major milestone has been reached with the Sydney Metro project. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did do give it a like, give it a thumbs up, do leave a comment or question below, subscribe if you haven't done so already and also check out my perks on Patreon, there's a link below. So I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I'll see you in the next one soon, bye for now.